Just finished working out, and now I'm going to see if I'm able to hear what's wrong with the car. Usually, you'd listen to hear a fuel pump prime if the fuel pump is dead, and then if it's not dead, which I hope it's not, then it's going to be something else. But if anything, I'll probably end up taking the rear seats out and everything like that just for now because I'm going to eventually upgrade that stuff anyway. But yeah, this is super annoying. And I'm kind of mad that I can't go to H2O. Not H2O. I still... I'm kind of mad that I can't go to IFO. But such is life. I'm just going to grab a daily whenever I can. And then... Just do what I got to do. But anyhow, let's see. Okay, so I believe I did hear the fuel pump prime. I'm not 100% sure, but again, I'm most likely just going to have to take the rear seats out. But I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm going to most likely just start getting the car ready to go like full send. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. There's a lot of stuff under here. It's a lot of change, so.
God, this thing is really hard to come out. Taking a well-deserved sushi break. <clears throat> Eel. Spicy salmon. Uh, spicy tuna. <sighs> I believe I did hear it. So I do believe the fuel pump is working. So I think it's just the pins for that thing that we switched before. I forget what it's called. Fuel pressure sensor or something like that. But yeah. So hopefully that really is the case and we just have to fix that because that's nothing but like a couple clip, like the um some pins in the connector, and then that'll be it. Whew, and I'm tired because I just worked out and then I didn't know that taking out those back seats will be that hard to do. It's really annoying and you have to be very, very careful that you don't let those clips like sever or hit, rub through or anything of those body control modules because I believe that's the EKP. That's the thing that controls the fuel pump. And then there's a whole bunch of other body harnesses on the side. So yeah, you have to be very careful because if you sever those, you're going to have to solder them back together and everything. And it's not gonna be fun, so just don't do that and be careful the first time. Whew, but yeah, I'm just gonna vacuum the back and then call it a day. And hopefully, I'll probably upload this video and then if I go see the car that I'm trying to look at, then that'll be a separate video. But um, yeah, for now, that's how you take the rear seats out. Actually, before I finish, let me tell you the tools that you need breaker bar because the bolts in the back are very hard to move t50 for this seat the seat side bracket thingies that are that connect into right there and then one of these if you want to just pop up the seats or you just use your bare hands and pull them up with brute strength like i did because you know when i savage on the ain't i got workout workout things are that fun so when I get begins any by any mean. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. <sighs> the things we do for these cars. Well, vacuumed it out. Looks pretty decent. I might even try and make a rear seat delete myself. Because I mean, why not? But uh, yeah. I definitely want to do some stuff to this interior though, like race car it up and whatnot. So that's probably another thing I'm going to try to do. And I'm 
yeah, that's the actual end of this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.